welcome back everyone to another Tonka Book tutorial. In this video, what we're going to do is work with CSV files. We're going to transform them into lists and we're going to work with the raw data itself. Let's start off with a very quick demonstration. Here we are loading in a CSV file. It's just the days of the week. Clicking on the list view shows us these items in list format. And I also have a little toggle list view option down here as well. So the same data being displayed in a label, in list view, and in a list picker. Okay, so once you've got your CSV file created and downloaded, it's time to start working on our app. To get started, what we're going to do is just create a very simple kind of proof of concept. So to do this, we're going to add in a label and a list picker, and then from the storage section, add in file one. Uh, clicking on upload file, you can just drag and drop in that CSV file you created in Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. And now it's time to code up uh, the blocks for this app. So when our screen initializes, the very first thing we're going to do is load in our CSV file, and we use the file one from procedure and using a string of text here what we're going to do is type in the name make sure then that you've got the two forward slashes before the file name otherwise it won't read it in correctly for you so my file was called weekdays hyphen sheet one dot csv that's the name i'm going to type in the next thing we're going to do is handle what happens when the file one component gives us back that text so what i want to do is put the elements from string or into my list viewer into my list picker and um, i'm going to use that piece of text and i'm going to do the same thing then with uh, label one so i'm going to display all that text on the screen so there's going to be seven elements in my list picker and there's going to be seven items on the screen In this final example, what I've done is converted the CSV data into a list. This makes it really easy then to use all the built-in list blocks. We can select items from list, we can add and remove items from list, and that's what we're doing on the screen here, using this number to uh, find the correct index for the item in our list. If you'd like the source code for this app or you want to learn more about working with CSV files, drop by the Thunkable community. There's a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.